certified most accurate. Now your first Warren 5 forecast. Good Monday morning. I'm meteorologist Matthew Monder with your first Warren 5 update. For today, you will notice the cooler air. We're not talking 70s and 80s like this past weekend. I'm looking at 50s for today, right around the middle 50s for your uh, afternoon high temperatures. We're even cooler Tuesday and Wednesday highs right around 45 both days, but we start to warm back up into the 50s by Friday and also into this upcoming weekend. So that'll get us um, back a little closer to normal for this time of year. With the cold front that's moving through the area and moving through the Great Lakes, this is the same one from Sunday. Sunday. That's going to start to stall off to our east today, so we'll start to see more shower activity actually riding up along that cold front as we go into uh, the rest of the morning and into the early afternoon on this Monday. And then we have our cooler air filtering in behind that. And that's leading to those lower temperatures for tomorrow and Wednesday. Now for that rainfall, it will be a little widespread at times this morning and into the early afternoon for the thumb specifically. If you're east of I-75, that's where you do have the greater chance at seeing this rain, but it already comes to an end uh, right around dinner time. Here we are at five o'clock still holding on to those clouds initially, but then clearing out our skies as we head into the overnight and that rainfall won't amount to too much. Only around a quarter of an inch into the thumb. Those highest totals right along the lake shore are totals much lower, especially as you go farther west through our area. Seven day forecast is also cold Tuesday night 27 for your low 29 on Wednesday night. Although we're still holding on to those 40s around Thursday, we do start to warm back up by the end of the week and also the second half of this week is trending much drier. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.